hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is diana and today i am in my closet right now because this is the only place where i'm getting the best lighting and i really just wanted to show you guys this hair for real i actually recorded this video like in my bathroom but the lighting like was not best so i just like want to step in my closet and show you this hair this is a 24 inch body wave u part wig that i got from unice all the information for this hair will be in the description box below if you decide you want to order this hair or any hair from unice i suggest downloading their app because when you order like through the app you get five dollars off your order and you can also track like your shipping information and everything like that also unice tends to have like a whole bunch of flash sales like on their sites like every day so definitely check that out so you don't miss any savings but without further ado without any more talking let's go ahead and get into the video and i'll show you how i install this wig First of all, look at this long, luxurious wig that they got me installing. It's either 22 or 24 inches, but it is beautifully constructed with the clips at the top, the clips at the side, and the clip at the back, along with that lace that I suggest that they stop adding because that is a waste. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this install. I'm going to show you how I do my base on my hair. Y'all don't talk about how stiff and dry my hair is. Hey, hey. <laughs> why my hair do like that anyways so i'm gonna start by combing out my leave out at the top um with the v-part wigs you don't have to leave out a lot of hair thank god because my hair is broken off at the top anyway and i don't have a lot to leave out um so i'm gonna comb out my leave out at the top i'm gonna leave out my edges and that's all i'm gonna be leaving out i'm gonna be braiding my hair going straight back because i don't know how to do nothing else all them fancy zigzag braids all y'all be doing i can't do that um i can barely do a plait but you know at least I can make my hair flat. Okay, so after that, I'm just going to braid down my leave out to get it out my way so I can focus on the rest of my hair. And then I'm going to be parting out my two anchor braids in the front on the sides. This is very important because those two combs that I showed you on the sides of the wig in the front, they need something to grab onto. Um, I have like done my hair before where I didn't make the anchor braids but honestly it's just better with the anchor braids because it makes the wig more secure and more sturdy if you don't know how to do braids do some flat twists do what you can but they just it needs something to grab onto because those combs will slip right out your head and then you'll be looking crazy and it'll feel uncomfortable All right, now, boom, this is what you got so far. You got your leave out, you got your two anchor braids, and now you got the rest of your hair in the back that we're about to braid up. Like I said, we're just going to be doing these braids straight to the back, honey. Make some parts and braid back. You could do, like, two large braids probably going straight to the back, but I kind of I kind of wanted this to lay kind of flat because, honestly, if you do two big braids, sometimes you can see the lumpiness through the wig. So I said, let me not be lazy and let me just make at least four braids. So I think I did like two on each side, two or three on each side, something like that. Um, and just braided it, like I said, straight to the back, headed straight to the back. And there you have the finished product. You got your anchor braid on the side, your braids going straight to the back, and your leave out at the top. Um, I should have braided my anchor braids into the uh, into the into the back, but I didn't. So now I'm just gonna bobby pin the braids in my back to my scalp so that it can lay flat, and then you should have something that looks like this. Now after all that, now it's time to install the wig. This is the main event, which you came here for. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and cut them two little pieces out in the middle. Why? I honestly don't even know why they do that because it's just a waste of fabric. But you know what? Whatever. We got to go ahead and cut that off. And then we're going to go ahead and try to align this wig with our head to make sure it fits comfortably. So as many times as I've applied a V-part wig, 
I honestly just found it easier to start by applying the clips at the top first and then adjusting uh, the clip at the back and then applying the, the combs on the sides, right? Just because your wig needs something to hold on to. And then as you're doing this, you can of course loosen up the clips at the top and readjust as needed, but it needs some kind of leverage. It needs something to hold on to while you're, you know, adjusting the clips towards the bottom. Because if you try adjusting the clips at the bottom first without doing anything at the top, the wig is gonna slide all over, all over the place. So yeah, it's just my little helpful tent, tent, hint, tip, whatever. You know, you can do it however you want to, but that's just how I find it easier. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and style my leave out. I'm using my bio silk that I'm going to put on there because my ends look a little crunchy and I need some support. Um, so yeah, after I put on the bio silk, I'm going to go through and flat iron my flat iron my leave out and provide more heat damage, you know, but hey, hair grow back, right? <laughs> All right, and for the style, I decided that I wanted like the big, um, I don't know, like the big wave look, like the big full voluminous, I hate the word voluminous, I always say that, but like the big full hair look. So I'm just taking my handy dandy hot tools um, curling iron, I think it's like a one and a half inch barrel, and I'm just wrapping my hair around the barrel, kind of like I would with a wand. So kind of like wand curls, but with a curling iron. Um, yeah, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and shake it out just to give myself like just a little wave in there, just a little body wave, you know, a little some something, something just, <laughs> just so the hair like wouldn't be in its natural state. I just needed to put some type of heat to it and I didn't feel like flat ironing it, so yeah. Next, I'm going to go through and add some layers to my hair only because it helps my hair look fuller and it just helps it look more flowy and it just it, it just makes the layers not the layers but it makes the curls pop more um so i'm doing it by taking sections of my hair small sections and cutting away from my face and i'm doing it as i'm moving up towards the top or the crown of my head and i'm going to do the same thing on both sides now i'm right-handed and not left-handed so one side always usually comes out looking better than the other but um yeah, and I'm sure there are other like methods and ways to cutting layers in your hair, but honestly, this, this is just what I find easier for myself. Um, and again, I'm not trying to add like nothing crazy when it comes to layers, just something simple to kind of just like frame and shape my face. So I like to style my edges kind of last because I usually sweat them out while I'm trying to style my hair. So just to kind of like per preserve my edges so I don't have to keep doing them over and over. I do it last and I'm using the um, Edge Booster, of course, the Red Edge Booster. I'm sure there are better products out here because honestly, I'm tired of that product and it's all right. But my edges are so natural, like they wind up poofing back up within like an hour or two, especially if it's like really humid. It really just depends on the humidity. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and swoop my little, my little edges, a little swoop to swoop and be on my merry way. After that, I'm just going to bend my head forward, give my hair a little shake and then throw it back up. That helps give my hair like this extra boost of volume. That's like my little secret there, even though it's not a secret because a lot of people do that. But yeah, it just makes it look voluminous and boom, look at that. Now I'm just going to make sure my leave out blends with the top. But we have some really cute body waves going on here. Like I'm really feeling this vibe. It looks like your girl got a sew in and this is a whole V part wig. Boom, you would never know you would never know but yeah so just something about this hair um i just want to talk a little bit about this hair like i said um it was from you niece all the information for this hair will be in the description box below this hair is so uh thick and full and it's very soft um as you you can see it through the camera like clearly it's some nice soft hair like this is some really good hair i did not have any issues with shedding of course tangling like of course not unice is a replicable company i've purchased from them in the past i love their hair so much 
in this wig is amazing. It's so simple to just put on and go. And I know I just, I did braids and everything to install the hair, but you honestly don't have to do all that. Like you really can just like put your hair in a ponytail to the back, make a couple of anchor braids and slap it on and go is very convenient for a person on the go. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and we'll see you next time. Adios.